when I was pretty young, uh, we sat around the table and we talked about when my grandfather first came to Australia from Italy. So my mum was born in Naples and it was part of the 50s migration. And when my nonno Giuseppe came to Tasmania, he uh, spent 20 months waiting for approval for his wife to join him and his daughter, my mum, Giovanna. And uh, he was getting quite depressed because it had been some time and he actually had never heard anything back from the federal government. And uh, the postman got to know him because he was doing shift work and he used to sit on the balcony and wait for the postie to come every day to hear if there was any word. And the postie had a long chat to him about if he loved Australia and how he was uh, uh, coping with the new life. And he was sad because he hadn't heard back. And uh, the postman started harassing him to go and see his local member of parliament. And because he was born in Italy, my grandfather really wasn't 100% sure if uh, that was the thing to do, to just bowl up to the local parliament and uh, ask to see your local member. But eventually, after um, so many uh, conversations with the postie, he decided to put on his best clothes and go down into uh, Hobart, where we grew up in Hobart town, and find out where the local parliament was. And he was surprised to be greeted by an usher at the door. Wow. Now, Billy Nielsen saw him within an hour and took down his story and wrote off to Harold Holt, who was the, uh, who was the Minister for Immigration at the time. And uh, Harold Holt wrote back uh, shortly later and my nonno got a uh, letter in the post saying his case was being elevated to the Prime Minister's office. Uh, then the Prime Minister, Sir Robert Menzies, uh, secretary, wrote to him and said, we'll sort this case out, the papers have been lost. And that's why your wife and daughter haven't been approved yet. There was a, a plane went down or a ship sank and the papers were lost. So. Um, a few weeks later the whole matter was sorted out and within months my mum and my grandma arrived on a boat from Italy and at the time uh, he wrote in his memoirs, I felt like light as a feather, like a great weight had lifted off my shoulders and uh, like a huge nightmare had ended. And uh, I realised as a very young child just how powerful it can be to have a good local member who's open and listening and willing to see actual resolutions to the things that are bothering people. So uh, that's why I decided to get into politics and to uh, try and make a difference. And uh, that's why I get frustrated sometimes with the problems around me that aren't being fixed.